Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to VGU Gaming. I'm your host as usual, Don't the Expert Calls from VideoGamesUncovered.com. And today I am giving you a preview of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn that is literally out today, the 27th of August 2013. This has been a great experience to be a part of during many of the beta phases, both on PC and PS3, but finally. I am able to show you guys some gameplay and also share with you my experiences and give you a little bit of insight into the game itself. So without further ado, let's get into it. Final Fantasy XIV originally came out to audiences a few years back and sadly didn't live up to the expectations. Many players were disappointed with the title but die-hard fans still remained to reinforce the good parts of the game. As time went by, Square Enix had many new developers added to the team and came to the conclusion that A Realm Reborn was the next step forward. After playing the original, will the repackaged and redesigned game stand up to the expectations? Let's get onto our airships and find out! The storyline begins where the realm of Yorja has been changed after a battle that occurred two years ago involving the Warriors of Light and the Galian Empire. As the battle waged on, neither side showed any sign of letting up. That was until this star that hung above the battlefield cracked open to reveal the king of the primals himself, Bahamut. The Dragon Lord ravages the land, killing and destroying troops and machines from both sides. After they retreated, both sides reorganize themselves as the next confrontation is about to begin. The interesting thing to bring up about the story is that the battle referenced in the realm we born actually took place in the game. It was the last and largest event that involved every player going all out. Truly a pulse pounding moment in gaming. Character creation is quite deep as you have a great array of different styles to play with. As well as aesthetic touches with the shapes and sizes of your character, you also have the choice of what race you wish to play as. Any race can play any role, but certain races will excel in specific classes, catering to the stats before hats gamers, as I like to say. We have the most human race, the Hure, the half cat, half man, Mikote, the mystical and elvish looking Elysian, the proud and tough Regadin, and the cute but deadly Lullafell. The interesting trick to picking your race is that your race does not determine your starting location, your class does. Now the classes in the game share some similarities to the epic classes seen in the previous Final Fantasy games. These are split into two core class groups known as the Disciples of War and the Disciples of Magic, as there are two optional groups known as the Disciple of the Hand and Disciples of the Land. These are mostly known as your gathering and producing classes, so think of them as your classes that are completely optional if you want to craft your own armour or make your own weapons or things like that. Here is a quick rundown of the classes in each group. In the Disciples of War we have the Gladiator, the Pugilist, the Marauder, the Lancer and the Archer. In the Disciples of Magic we have the Conjurer, the Formaturge and the Arcanist. In the Disciples of Hand, we have the Carpenter, the Blacksmith, the Armorer, the Goldsmith, the Leather Worker, the Weaver, the Alchemist, and my personal favourite, the Culinarian. And last but not least, with the Disciples of Hand, we have the Miner, the Botanist, and the Fisher. Now the great thing about all these classes is that you can be every single one of them. That's right, you can switch out between your classes with ease and be a jack of all trades. However, if you want to go down a specific route, then job classes are a special addition to leveling your character up. When you get to a certain level in your classes, you'll be able to assign yourself to a job that puts you into a more specialised role in combat. Jobs include Paladin, Monk, Warrior, Dragoon, Bard, White Mage, Black Mage, Summoner and Scholar. Every job and class will allow you to mix and match certain abilities with one another. A summoner can have the effectiveness of Formaturgy alongside the companion summon skills of the Arcanist. This allows players to become the character they always wanted to be and literally try out anything and everything they desire. As well as freedom of creation, you also have the freedom to explore as well. One thing the Realm Reborn has improved is the challenge for players upon exploring the world around them. For example, you can go into a starting area with a level 1 to 5 monsters but they are also accompanied by level 10 to 15 monsters. 
This allows low level players to compete alongside the higher level players, as if you look into what you could be able to do in the future. On top of this, you will also have a challenge when it comes to fighting same level or slightly higher level monsters, creating the need to practice your skills instead of just button mashing. Creatures and other enemies you will face off against won't just auto attack you either, but rather they will use devastating abilities that can be either an area of effect, a cone in front of them or behind them, or even a projectile that flies through the air to set location. This immerses the player into combat, as it is more than just standing in front of something all day and slashing. You generally feel more cunning as you dodge an enemy attack, strafe behind them and finish them off. Animations during combat flow from one attack to another, even if you are going from one ability to another. The combat overall feels challenging, polished and very immersive. A great plus for the MMO title. One problem I did encounter, however, in my time playing the beta, that is mainly a concern on the PS3 version, is that targeting feels very clunky in places. In order to perfect targeting on the PS3, you must press X twice to lock onto your target, and then you are free to blast or swing away. If you fail at doing this, you could end up blindingly swinging at a teammate's carbuncle as your enemies kill you. Although the PS3 version of the game is incredibly solid and works really well with a controller, targeting can become a major concern, especially when it comes to an important teamfight situation that requires your assistance. With a beautiful world to explore, many classes to play, music to enjoy and quests to be completed, Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn is looking to be the reviving jolt that the game needed. It feels more like a Final Fantasy title now than it was back in the vanilla age. This could be the beginning of a grand adventure. Although there is a lack of voice acting in places and a small issue concerning the targeting of the PS3, all of those negatives can be washed aside with the engaging narrative and the classic, re-envisioned soundtrack that drives your gameplay experience. If you are a fan of MMOs, a fan of Final Fantasy, or both, then this is the game you simply must get involved in. So there you go guys. That is my preview of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. It was truly amazing to be a part of it, and I hope to be a part of it in the future as well, to give you guys a full-on review of the MMO from low level to mid level to high level, to give you guys an idea as to whether the entire experience is 100% worth the price and the subscription model that's tied to it. So, that's the end of that. But I want to know what you guys think about Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. Were you in the beta? Did you find any problems with the game? Or did you just think the game was perfect and much better than the original Final Fantasy XIV? Let us know your thoughts on the title in the comments below and be sure to share with us your adventures on the VGU forums. All the links you need are in the description below, including the written version of this review, which you can check out as well, which includes screenshots of my actual gameplay through the beta phase as well for you guys to enjoy. There you go guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video preview of Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. It is out now for the PC and PlayStation 3. I will see you guys next time for even more reviews, previews and many more gaming related videos. Be sure to subscribe, favourite, like and all that good stuff. Check out www.videogamesuncovered.com for all your written articles and all that good stuff as well. And until next time, I'll be seeing you on the other side.